In Slate, they have a piece uh, on .com. Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa. You know, and by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. But this person is just arguing that that maybe we should we should also have a black Santa. But you know, Santa is what he is. And just so you know, we're just debating this because someone wrote about it, kids. All right, here we go. That's Megan Kelly of Fox News responding to an article published by Slate. In the article, the author Aisha Harris argued that it was time to give old Saint Nick a makeover. The reactions have been well. Let's ask her. Aisha joins me now from New York. Thank you for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. You know, I feel like your voice has sort of been missing in all of the uh, coverage of this, uh, at least the coverage that was on Fox this week. Tell us what the point you were trying to make was. Um, the point I was trying to make was that I think that we have, the world has changed a lot in the, in the, over the last 50, 100 years. And Santa Claus is a fictional character. He is nothing like the original historical figure he was based off of anymore. We've kind of evolved him into this magical, mythical figure. And mm. for kids, I think it's important that they, they don't have to feel necessarily bogged down that uh, Santa is always white, and, and that's the way he should be. He's mm. not real. So I think that it's important to incorporate um, a, a less um, eth ethnic uh, appropriation of Santa. I, I suppose you must feel good knowing this has kicked up a debate, but I wonder how you felt when, uh, when you heard the comments on Fox on Wednesday. What was that like? Um, it, it felt... Uh, it kind of reinforced my point, actually, I think, because the fact that Kelly and um, some of the other guests on the show were, were insisting that Santa is white, um, to me, just spoke to the reason why I wrote the piece, is that there are mm -hmm. a lot of people out there who automatically assume that, that Santa must be white, and, and there's no way, it's, it's laughable that he could be anything else. Now, I thought, actually, you should be on that panel discussion. Did they call on Wednesday? Did they invite you on the show? Uh, no, not not for Wednesday. Um, I was not reached out to, and they did not reach out to Slate. And, and Fox um, says they did reach out for a follow-up segment on Friday, um, and, and that Slate declined on your behalf. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, but it, it, why was that? Is that because you didn't want to appear on the network, or because they didn't give enough warning, or something else? I think it it was mainly because they didn't give enough warning. Mm -hmm. They didn't they didn't reach out until a, just a few hours before the show was airing. Oh, I see. And and I and I had heard already that she was going to be talking about it that night earlier in the day. Um, so oh. it, it just it just felt like it was kind of a last minute thing, and and felt almost like a slight. So. Right, right. Well, let's play what Megyn Kelly said on Friday. Here's a clip of, uh, of her explanation of her comments. For me, the fact that an offhand jest I made during a segment about whether Santa should be replaced by a penguin has now become a national firestorm says two things. Race is still an incredibly volatile issue in this country, and Fox News and yours truly are big targets for many people. So, Aisha, how do you feel about that response? Um, I, I felt like they were kind of playing the victim there. Mm. Um, and, and the fact that they tried to deflect it and say that they were also being making a joke out of it, um, it just didn't, it didn't ring true to me. Um, mm. it, she said it very emphatically on the program um, on Wednesday. And to me, uh, there was nothing joke-like joke about that. Mm. You know, I, to tell you what I think for a minute, I was... I kind of wonder uh, if, if Fox had a different uh, audience demographic, um, if she would have commented differently about Santa. You know, data from 2012 shows that about 1.4% of Fox's primetime audience is African American. You know, if that was 24%, I'm wondering if she would have said something differently. But of course, that's not something we can know. Uh, it was very interesting, wasn't it, to see SNL last night? Did you watch? I have not seen it yet. Let's, uh, let's uh, <laughs> play this clip then. You'll see it for the first time. Here's Keenan right. Thompson as Black Santa. So it doesn't bother you when people like Megyn Kelly insist that you're white? Well, I'm surprised that people ever thought I wasn't black. Have you ever known a white man to wear an all-red suit? No. <laughs> I mean, people want to believe the reality that's most comfortable to them. They don't want to live in a world where Santa's black and one of his reindeer is gay. Really? Which one? Come on, Cecily. Is it Prancer? Prancer, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, it, it was a pretty good episode, I thought. Uh, and, you know, it goes to show both the power of the web for someone like you to write a blog post that gets his attention and the power of Fox to get it more attention, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, of course, Jon Stewart took it on as well. I want to play a clip from uh, The Daily Show a couple, a couple nights ago as well uh, when they took this topic on also. So let's roll that. 
are you actually talking to? <laughs> Children who are sophisticated enough to be watching a news channel at 10 o'clock at night, yet innocent enough to still believe Santa Claus is real, <laughs> yet racist enough to be freaked out if he isn't white. I mean, this really did take on a life of its own. Uh, I, I wonder if you're planning on writing anything more about this. Um, you know, I wrote a response uh, to Kelly after, after the fact on Wednesday um, on Slate. Um, and I, I think that kind of says it, says it all. Um, <laughs> basically just the fact that I, Santa isn't real. And I think we need, the larger point is that we need to start thinking outside of just the cultural norms of, of white always being the default. And, and that goes into not just fictional characters, but also into everyday life and the way we perceive um, people of, of different ethnicities and different cultures. Where do you think we'll be in 10 years, for example, or in 20 years? Do you think what you're describing will become more common by then? You know, I, I hope so, but I feel like there's really, really no way to tell. I mean, the world is changing and, and America is becoming less white. Um, so maybe we will get a broader view of things and be able to kind of see things in a different perspective. Mm. I hope so. And if Fox calls today or tomorrow, if they give you more time, will you, will you come on? You know, I, don't, I, I can't say at this moment. Okay. Maybe. I understand. I understand. We're, we're live on TV, no commitments. But Aisha, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And, uh, and we enjoyed the debate this week. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs>